Dane Pete, 24 years of age, comes from Cape Town, plays for the Cape Cobras, and has just broken in to the Proteas team. And the way he broke in was spectacular. He is the record holder when it comes to spin bowling on debut for the national team, taking eight wickets for 152 runs. No one has ever done that before. Dane Pete, you're in the studio. Nice to have you with us. Uh, um, and the first question has to be, when you got that first cap, mm. what did Sean Pollock say to you before you got on the field? Because it's a special moment in cricket, isn't it? Yeah, Getting the cap. No, that, that's the proudest moment for any cricketer, I think. Um, receiving a cap that, that so many legends have played for and there's legends in the team already that's playing with me. Um, uh. it, it was, I think he told me something on the lines of, you deserve to be here. Um, the, the flower of the Protea is the most resilient flower. It's the first flower to grow again. Um, so. To, to, for us as South Africans, we're a resilient nation. Uh, we, we never back down. Um, and just go out there and enjoy yourself and play with a smile on your face, which I did for four days. Well, it's easy to smile when this happens. Your very <laughs> first ball in test cricket. You've never played in a test match again. You come up against Zimbabwe, your first ball, and it's a wicket, yeah. a brilliant delivery. Yeah. No, that was, I think, I actually don't remember that, that, that day, uh, that, that moment. Um, I, I, I delivered the ball, I didn't expect it to turn as much because I am a, quite a big turner of the cricket ball, but uh. I just threw it out there and, and hoping that, that something happened. Um, and, and fortunately enough, I got, um, uh, I think it's Mark from Merlin out at LBW and uh, I ran, I think I sidestepped Dean Alder, they weren't too happy with me, but I think I really realized, what's this test cricket thing you're talking about? And, uh, it's easy, eh? It's, no. it's easy. I mean, when you just step in and say, I'll just take eight wickets, thank you very much, yeah. on my first match. Yeah, no, it was, it's a dream come true. It's, it's something that I've been dreaming of for a very, very long time. And fortunately enough, it, it's worked out for me that way. Now, when you look back now at that moment, taking the eight wickets, who do you give thanks to? Where does the thanks go for you having made it? Yeah, firstly, um, your talent doesn't, it doesn't come from, from anywhere. It comes from God. And, I've been blessed with a, with, a, with a serious talent and I'm just trying to, to fulfill it. Um, but my parents, um, they've sacrificed so much for me to get me where I am today. Um, and I can only thank them for, what for doing that. What did they do? Um, financially, it was not always easy on, on my parents. Um, I went to, to Saks down in Cape Town. It's not the cheapest school going around. Fancy, fancy schools. Fancy schools. Fancy school. That's why I speak such good English. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't hear you were from Cape Town. Eh? I was like, um, who is so, he from? <laughs> so, yeah, um, they, they, they sacrificed to get me through good schooling throughout, throughout 12 years. Fortunately enough, it was 12 years. It wasn't 14 or 15 years. No failing. No, no failing. <laughs> I, I got through, fortunately. And they sacrificed, and, and I was happy to have them in Sri Lanka because my first tour was of, with South Africa was in Sri Lanka, and they were with me. Um, and, and, and they were just there, they supported me, I mean, all the way, for 24 years they've supported me. And then what about Paul Adams? Because he's been here on the show, everyone yeah. knows him as one of the great spin bowlers yeah. of South African cricket. Yeah. Do you owe something to him? Hell of a lot. Um, since I was 18 I moved, um, obviously finished school. Um, I, I didn't know what I was going to do, I didn't want to study, I always didn't want to study, I wanted to become a sportsman. Mm. Um, my first love was always football. Um, fortunately enough, I, I went into cricket and it's worked out for me. And since 18, he's helped me um, such a lot. Um, technically, with my action, um, spin bowling is an art. Um, we all know that. So he's helped me grow with, with, my, with my action and understanding it. He knows my action better than anyone else and, and my game better than anyone else, anyone else in South Africa. Mm. Did you struggle to get your opportunity? Um, no. I've been... It, it's been a... <laughs> yes, yes and no. Um, it's, been, it's been quite a quite the journey for me. Um, there's been a lot of downs, more downs than ups, I'd say. Um, Wait, what were those downs? What being were? left out of the Cobra side last year, um, I, I, I expected to, to play a lot more cricket um, with Robbie P being available with the national side and all mm. of that. And, and I just wanted to take my chance. I was left out. Um, a, a, few, a few strategic changes made by Paul Adams. And, and, and that was what where I think it kickstarted where I am today. Um, mm. I went back and I worked very hard. Um, in, in behind the scenes, um, technical stuff, um, and, and like I said, it's fortunate enough where I am today. Yeah. Now, when we look at how you started in cricket, you were actually a batsman. Yeah. How do you end up being a spin bowler when you were a top order batsman in your early days? Yeah, it's, it's weird. Um, you, 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 you mature, you grow up. I mean, soccer, the soccer boys, you have what well, Kune was a striker when he started, and he ended up being a goalkeeper. Same, same in cricket. Um, you become a batsman, you want to do everything. You idolize Herschel Gibbs growing up. I mean, for a colored guy, Herschel Gibbs and Paul Adams were the, were the, big, were uh. the big players. So you idolize them. Um, and I bowled fast. And 
I think it was Mr. Kennedy at my primary school down in, down in Durbanville, Kennedy Primary. He told me that um, we needed a, a slow bowler. I took the ball and I just started bowling spin and went to sacks my first year. I said I'm a top order batsman, still batted number four and then continued bowling. Um, and now you don't even know which way of the bat to hold it. No, I do actually. No, I but I, no, mean, no, I, no, I, I looked can't. at your average. I know, it's not, it's not that great. Um, <laughs> I mean, the, the video analyst of the pro tiers, Prasanna, says, you saw me bat for the first time, he's like, your average is too low. You, need you to can get it bat. Up. You can bat. But, uh, you know, 13, yeah. I think, is what you're averaging. 15, it's 15. I've got 92 against the Lions, so that's pushed it up okay, a bit. Okay, you've yeah, gone so. up. However, I want, you spoke about slow bowling. Let's take a look at this guy. I want you to tell me what you think of this uh, and whether he has any future as far as cricket is concerned. So, there he is, <sighs> the fastest man in the world, Usain Bolt, and he's just uh, thrown a delivery there. Here he comes again. Usain Bolt, 9.58 is... Uh, Another delivery. Do you think uh, the West yeah. Indies need him? Um, the, the West Indies got the, the whole Caribbean's got natural athletes. I mean, he's, you can see him running there. Um, uh, I'll expect him. I could expect him to do quite a good job for the West Indies in the shorter format. Um, but you wouldn't be fearful of him. No, oh, he dropped it. Oh, did, did he catch? No, he, he dropped, dropped it. it. No, no. no I wouldn't be fearful of of of, of the same. Thing. So no talent there for you, saying? There's talent there. Um, you run, you're probably running quickly. <laughs> Don't deliver the ball as quick that, that the, the couple of balls that we faced in international Well, I love career. the pose at the yeah, end. Yeah, I know. I love the pose. Maybe you need to work on one of those. Have you got a pose for every wicket? Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a friend down in Cape Town, uh, CSC Meti, who always tells me that I need to start to uh, dance or something. Do something, yeah? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to get something uh. going, but he's not helping me in that. In that get in a Kapsa dance, man. Exactly. I'll Kapsa try. dance. I'll try Finally. I need to wrap this up with you. Dane, congratulations Thank on you. what you've achieved so far. You're an inspiration to so many Thank you. Um, at your age, 24, really breaking into the squad. However, what is it that now that you're here at the beginning of the greatness, mm. what's the future hold? <laughs> Only one man that knows the future, but... Um, what do you want to achieve? I want to achieve um, to, be, to, to be better than... My coach, that I've always told him I want to be better than Paul Adams. That's, uh, that was my main thing. I always wanted you to. You already beat him though. His debut no, only no, got no, four no, wickets. No, no, no. He only got four wickets he's on played, debut. You got played, eight. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he's played 40 odd tests for South Africa. He's taken, uh, I think it's 40 odd, he's taken 135 wickets. So targets are always there. Um, I would like to play a very long time for South Africa, but just keeping my feet in the ground and, and, and trying to fulfill what the team needs at the specific time. And, just enjoy it and play with a smile on my face. Dane, thank you very much for being us. We'll give you our sport a 10 applause because you thank are you. the future of cricket. We love that you've made the opportunity to speak to all of South Africa today and appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you very much.